think the debate about is the UN relevant or not, the point is, yes, it's still relevant. It's the place where countries set international law and make important decisions about what to be done about global peace and security. But it is ineffective. Um, it is taken over by political um, uh, forces. It is very slow to change and reform. I think that it still is relevant. Um, a lot of people would not be living right now if not for the United Nations working with governments around the world, working in hotspots, but it needs to improve. It does have a future, it does have a role. And one thing people always say is that, you know, you have to use the organizations that are present. You can't just put them to the side and create new ones. The UN is there, it's not perfect, um, but I think that there are ways to improve it um, from its peacekeeping operations to its decision-making authority to standing against certain governments that are really doing things that are not supported by the UN Charter. Um, but I think the UN does have a future um, and it has to adapt and innovate in order for it to meet the needs of the 21st century. La première réforme, je dirais, c'est que le Conseil de sécurité, euh, les, les, les cinq membres permanents, la France, euh, la Grande-Bretagne, les États-Unis, la Russie et la Chine, euh, ne devraient pas avoir la permission d'utiliser leur, euh, leur veto pour bloquer l'action quand il y a un génocide ou des crimes contre l'humanité qui se passe, comme maintenant en Syrie. Euh, c'est vraiment, c'est à ce moment euh, qu'on voit qu'il y a des vrais problèmes avec l'ONU. Euh, deuxièmement, si je peux ajouter, la sélection du secrétaire général de l'ONU, c'est pas transparent. Il y a beaucoup de lobbying derrière la scène pour, pour mettre quelqu'un en place qui sera plus euh, un allié de certains pays ou non. C'est absolument nécessaire qu'on ouvre l'ONU, que ça devient plus um, transparent. One of the biggest challenges to global justice is actually um, getting UN member states, and it comes back to the Security Council. Uh, they have the decision-making authority, so how they vote uh, determines whether something is legal or illegal in international law. But in the, of appointing global justice, we have cases where the International Criminal Court has multiple times asked for the UN Security Council to give them authorization. Uh, to um, look into cases of, of uh, atrocity crimes or crimes against humanity. Very often, and all it takes is one member of the, of the council, Security Council, one of the P5, as they call them, to veto it and block action. This clearly can't continue. We, we can't have a system in which one country is, al is effectively allowed to block investigations into uh, cases of, 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 of atrocities. We can't have one country that use this veto to shut down a UN peacekeeping operation. I mean, I mean, these were created in an era to stop wars between the great powers, but 2015 is quite different. Uh, we have to realize that there are many, many problems happening within borders, and the UN Security Council has to be more responsible, has to help improve global justice, uh, and, to, and to help the UN make the right decisions and deploy early. I think the UN has to be more adapt and opening up to NGOs to have, uh, not just allow them to come to a general assembly meeting here and there, but has to be able to give them a seat at the table and, and have their expertise inform their programming and their decision making and their policies. I think a lot of Canadians um, should be somewhat concerned about Canada's role in the United Nations. And, and, and I say why. I, I joined the United Nations uh, through something called the JPO, the Junior Professional Officers Program. It gave Canadian, young Canadian diplomats an opportunity to enter the UN and have a career in the UN. Those programs have since been closed. Um, and I think it's really, really important that Canada re-engages the UN and, and re-engages in the JPO program to allow young Canadian graduates, Concordia graduates, to go on and bring Canadian values into the, into the United Nations system.